Good afternoon. Actually, good evening now. A little bit later than usual. I had an event I was at where I couldn't get reception, so Facebook Live when I got home. Um, this is episode 899, 898, excuse me, 898. Oh, don't get ahead of myself. And the topic today is about, um, ladies, are you attracting what you don't want? I should say, are you drawing in or are you receiving what you don't want? And maybe your picker is, is out of alignment. And I'll explain what I mean in great detail because it may, be what, it may not be what you think. Stay tuned to find out. Before I jump into the topic at hand, explain and express what I mean and what I've been thinking about today, maybe I'll introduce myself first and then get into the topic at hand um, and what this, is, what this is about too, by the way. My name is Barry Selby. I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Love, a book for singles and, couple, singles and couples, men and women. Great book. I do recommend it. I wrote it, so I'm kind of biased. Uh, and I'm also a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I do this because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. That's been what's transformed my life for the last 12, 13 years, and that's why I do this work. It's also what led me to do um, these talks starting almost three years ago, almost three years ago, called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 898. Two more to 900. Yes, yeah, so money's going to be 900 because I do this every day. And again, the topic today is about, uh, ladies, are you attracting in, or I should say, are you receiving what you don't want? And I have a, a thought, and I, I, I had an epiphany today, a little epiphany, a little one, that explains more about this. And also a societal issue, perhaps, too. We'll see if I go into that. And also we can do differently. And yes, I may recommend a couple of things at the back end that I offer because I have whole smorgasbords, smorgasbord, singular, of choices of things I offer in my coaching and, and programs. But before I get to that, let me start with the, point, the piece at hand because your picker may be out of alignment based upon your history. So here's the thing. First of all, are you attracting attention you don't want? Now, don't just, don't just mean relationship partner-wise. I mean just in general because if you are, that I'm going to talk to you about as well. Secondly, are you attracting into your life people, friends, relationships, partners, etc., who aren't what you really want? Like what you go and excitedly go get, and then when you, what you get, get so when you get at home, you go, that's not what I wanted. You have that experience going on? This might explain why when I, get into, when I explain this. It also may be somewhat about your picker, as they call it, your, your picker being. People say your picker's broken. It's like, no, your picker's out of alignment, what it is. It needs, a, it needs an alignment check, like a car having the wheels aligned. Because you're attracting fine. Excuse me. You're attracting, which is fine. But what you're attracting isn't. That's the clarity. So if you're in a place where you're attracting into your life and drawing into your life and receiving into your life, things aren't working. There's a slight quandary here. Because a lot of women I know are either one repeatedly drawing in the same thing again and again and again, which is not what they wanted. Now, I did talk about this yesterday, I think, yesterday, the day before, yesterday. But also, a lot of women are um, so averse to that now that they put up walls. They basically block the doorway. They keep it no opening whatsoever. There's no ability for, to receive because they shut everything down, close the gates, batten the hatches, put a, put a new wall up and everything because they don't want to deal with that challenge of what they're not wanting in the first place. So I'll give you a couple of things that may allow you to soften that a little bit. But something hit me this morning, which I was really, actually this afternoon, it was really profound in a way. And it speaks to one of society's problems. This is a general thing, first of all. So I'm going to go wider and then go more deep in a moment. I've said this before so many times, it just hit me another way, is that the feminine is receptive. The feminine receives, the feminine attracts, the feminine draws in. And most women are feminine. Whereas the masculine is out pursuing, chasing, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Project, projecting into. That's what the masculine feminine is that energetic, where the masculine projects into the feminine. The feminine receives it. Unfortunately, society was built on the premise, largely so, I'm going to play with this in a little bit, is that I believe that a lot of the problems we had in society being a patriarchal structure is that men basically thought they could take women for whatever they wanted because the, the masculine was taking charge, getting things done, with no respect for the feminine. And because women weren't necessarily at that point, well, actually, that's not true. At that point, they were taking charge. They were in leadership. We went through a time period the last 200 years where we didn't have that. Women were largely, largely, not everyone, but largely subservient and secondary because women were treated that way in society. That's a whole other issue and that's a whole political history thing for another time, but not now. But the thing about it is on a, on a um, deeper point versus width, 
is that ladies, you've been trained, I believe you've been trained by society, for a large lot of women, especially baby boomers, I guess is probably the generation, maybe not millennials, maybe baby boomers, were basically taught, taught in a way to basically be okay with what you get. No freedom to choose, no authority, no autonomy, no, no um, decision making on your own part, you just got to receive. So they took the idea of the feminine being receptive and attracting to the worst degree, and women weren't being given the ability to choose what they wanted. So if you come from that generation, which some women I know watching my broadcast are from that generation, this may be what may be out of alignment for you. So when I say you pick us out of alignment, what I mean is that you are attracting in, you are drawing in, you are bringing in what you, what you are bringing in, period, excuse me. But what you want isn't what you're getting, because that's the part of our alignment, that's the alignment issue that's going on. And this dance of getting what you don't want is based on two things primarily. One is that you're running some programs that are drawing what you don't really want. I talked about this yesterday in more detail. I'll give you a Cliff Notes version today. But secondly, you're also in a place where you may not be willing to say no to declare a boundary that is your own freedom to choose. They do go together ultimately because they create the same result, which is not what you want. So one of those things is you have this focus on attracting period without any um, discernment. So your picker is not aligned to what you really want. And secondly, what you're getting, you're not saying no to. Both of those aren't working, I can tell. And if you're one of the women out there who's single, who's been gone through this a few times, you know what I'm talking about. This is a functional, um, excuse me, a dysfunctional way of being in a relationship. And unfortunately, the dating apps don't help you. I'll talk about this again, talk about yesterday, where you're just swiping right, swiping right, hoping to find a match that's gonna fit you. Don't do that, it's the wrong approach. The power of the feminine, which is magnificent by the way, I've talked about the feminine energy a few times recently, um, about three days ago, two days ago. You watch, I'll tell you the back end when you find my replay so you can watch all these broadcasts, because the last few days have been rather rich content. So if you're in a place where you're not willing to attract in what you want, you're also out of alignment because the feminine is magnificently powerful, profoundly able and um, almost second nature to have the ability to attract what she wants. Now I'm saying she because the feminine is mostly, mostly women are feminine. Some men are feminine, but most women are and most men are masculine. So I'm using generalities here just to be clear as I'm framing this. I'm seeking feminine line to women who are straight, looking to attract a man. That's the pl that's the the template I'm playing with here, knowing that other variations, other choices, other arrangements. So just to be clear, so for the ladies, when you're in your feminine heart, when you own your feminine magnificence, it's having this ability to attract in what you want with discernment. Meaning that instead of having a wall up, you carry a sword. So I'm play with that one a little bit, just as a metaphor. See, the wall basically blocks out everything, there's no way through, but a sword is um, gonna, gonna ward off the, those who would do you harm and also ward off those that don't fit. Because if they fit, they trust you're not gonna use the sword on them. Now it's a metaphor, obviously it's a metaphor, I'm not physically getting a sword out, not talking about that, but the understanding of the idea is about being the, the solid wall in the way, which is you not onto anything, or the sword, which is a, means of protecting yourself, but also allowing in what you really want. So that, what does that mean mechanically? So first of all, again, taking down the wall means that you stop blocking out everything and you start venturing into the place of being able to be receptive to attract what you want. That's the first step, which is to start healing those wounds that actually put the wall up in the first place. That's what I do in my coaching and what I do with some of my offerings as well. The second part though, is once you know that you're okay and you trust yourself and you love yourself again, and self-love is one of the keys, and that's why I'll put the link in the comments for that, is you start to become clear that you can start attracting what you really want, but you want to make sure that you don't get what you don't want. So now you've basically gone from the place of where you had a wall up against everything, and it's like, well, that means everything can come in. It's like, no, not so easily. You have discernment. You have ability to protect, again, with the sword. So that sword, in the sense, is really the ability of having discernment. It's like realigning your picker to be aligned to what you really do want, and you can start separating away from what you don't want. So energetically, it's like cleaving away what doesn't fit so you can focus on what you do want. I have a course called Attract the Man You Want, which helps you define, refine, and understand what you really want to create. And that is a paradigm shift. Excuse me a second. Okay, sorry, 
sorry, I just had to pop aside because I just heard a truck down the street and I think it was a fire truck. <laughs> but it wasn't going that loud. Okay, I'm going to go check on what that is in a minute. So I'm going to wrap this up in a short week. Um, so first of all, a couple of things I'm going to put in the comments as I want to go check in what's going on because obviously if I try to go by, I get nervous. <sighs> Be present. So in the comments, I'll put a couple of links to you. My self-love meditation, attract the money you want course. You can check that out, have a look at it because it'll fit what you're going for and a link to have a chat with me for a coaching, coaching call because if you want to know what you want, what's in the way, I can help you clarify that and focus on that and get what you really want. Because truthfully is, when you take the wall and you start using the sword, you get to have discernment, definement, defining, and decision-making to get you what you really want. It is that simple, really. So I'm going to sign off to go check on what's going on. I'll back in tomorrow um, with episode 899. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, again, links will be in the comments after I sign off. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, it's usually every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Today was later because I was at another event. Um, 5 o'clock Pacific time right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, the replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby the author, which you can like my page, watch them there, but all of them are more visible on my YouTube channel. And that's youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. There's a play, you can subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Math, and you can watch all my broadcasts. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. If you want to reach out to me for support, message me, message me over social media. And if you want to check out the links I put in the comments, I highly recommend it. You have the ability to realign your bigger, to choose what you really want, to have the power to attract what you want from a place that's healthy, that's discerning and that's clear. And I can help you get there if you're not sure how. With that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. And as always, please take care of yourself.